Hello, welcome to another Mortal Realms uh, Age of Sigma battle report. First up, apologies for the uh, technical issues in the last video. Um, didn't realise that, you didn't miss much, it was just the initial moving up and charging round. Um, just uh, before we do, so I just want to try something. Yeah, just wanted to make sure that the uh, technical issue didn't happen again. Uh, yeah, this is the Titans of War. Um, so, in the depths of the catacombs far beneath the graveyard, Xandra Xorbol and Anastasia Starstrike have located the relic they seek. An ancient staved carved from bone, grasping a cursed magical gem. The souls of long dead mortals swirl within the staff's amethyst stone, screaming for release, and a soft purple light emanates from the glowing gem. The dead too have arrived to claim the prize. Bursting from the walls, the Briar Queen and her fawns descended upon the Stormcast Eternals. Meanwhile, on the surface, bolts of heavenly lightning slam into the unhallowed ground of the crumbling graveyard. The Lord of Carnum, borrowing glory mantle, has arrived. Along with more Stormcast Eternals, they must drive back the dead and buy time for Xandra to defeat her foes. The battle leader of the night haunts, a fell spirit clad in flowing black robes, spurs his ghostly steed forwards, seeking the Lord Arcanum in battle. Spells and swords ring out across the gloomy landscape, and two forces collide. This will be a match of wits. The commander whose tactics and strategies prove most efficient will emerge victorious. Well, I'm rubbish at tactics, and I'm controlling both, so ha. Huh. This one introduces the big boys. So, uh, in previous playthroughs, the order in which players took their turns was set for you. In Warhammer Age of Sigma, however, this order is not set ahead of time. Instead, at the start of each battle round, players roll off and the winner chooses which side uh, takes the first turn. This playthrough will take you through this new roll off. Ooh, I've always wondered that. So we've got the reference sheet here. Um, yeah, reference sheet, charge phase. Here we go, it's a better reference sheet than last time. It's actually got stuff on here. I want. Okay, so we've got the Lord of Carnum. I'm gonna need this one from issue 18, because that gives me my sex tools and chain grass poured. Um, yeah, so try and follow this as much as possible as we normally do, it's just for the first three battle rounds. So it says at the start of each battle round, both players roll off and the winner can decide who takes the first turn. Uh, the first player takes a turn following phase on the reference sheet. Royal for the start of the battle round, both players roll off. Players roll the dice, whichever score, Rolls higher, decides which plan takes first turn. So we'll do that anyway. Uh, black obviously being the night haunt as usual for my stuff. Uh, one and two, so the night haunt wind. Player rolls dice, storm player rolls a six, player rolls a four, storm player to take first turn. So in this one, night haunt decides to take second turn just to uh, keep it going. So yeah, this is um, where we're at. We're back onto the big graveyard, but we have, where that we have. This chap here. He's like a knight of shrouds. Ten of these ghosty dudes, as usual. Five of you chaps we've seen before, but look, we got a, got a dude riding a a griffhound, griffin thing. I don't know. I don't know Age of Sigma monsters yet. <laughs> but to me, it's a griffin. Why is it? What's he got at the back? It looks like horse legs. Hippo griff. So anyway, we got. We're looking at nothing. Excellent. So we're going to put it here and try and do something. Um, Stormcast player has chosen to go first. So in the hero phase, they gain one command point uh, and the Lord Archon fails to chuck cast Arcane Bolt. So we're gonna, yeah, I'm going to just play through, really haven't been doing this all the way through. I just want to do this for now, play through what it says here. So hero phase, he fails charge. So we just say, what we did needed uh, anyway on Arcane Bolt. It's two dice. Is it two dice? Uh, Arcane Bolt, casting value of five. It's called ten or more, so it'd be two dice. Got six, I would have casted it, but if we make that, I don't know. One. <laughs> there we go. I failed to cast it. There we go. I just want to, for this last one of the playthroughs, because this is the last guided playthrough. So, uh, in the movement phase, the Stormcast player, so that's the hero phase, movement phase, uh, Stormcast player runs their units forward at the, uh, 
So you spin their command point and use at the double. So at the double, uh, command phase running, retreat. Oh, I don't have the, uh, at the double. Use this ability after you uh, make a run roll for a friendly model that's in six inches of a hero. If they do so, the roll is treated as being a six. So running, roll with dice and add this number. So they get, oh, yeah, six anyway. So uh, <laughs> just make fated to be. So it's added to, and add the result to the unit's move value. So the old Arcanum, he moves, Oh, he's got 12. So anyway, they just, they just move in up to here. So what I'm gonna do is probably put it in this camera. They just move in straight up to here. And these guys got six plus five, that's 11. So what they do here is they move sort of into a battle line here so boom okay they cannot take any actions and shoot or charge phases stormcast turn ends <coughs> excuse me um i should take a drink before recording this one might have to do one now sorry night home the Nighthawk player takes the second turn of the battle round in this hero phase, they gain one command point. The Nighthawk player spends a command point to make an at the double when charging chain rasps. So yeah, what would they have got? So they've got four, they can use that double because they get six. Um, right, so they're gonna make at the double. So six plus six is 12. So they're gonna come to about here. So I'm gonna have to quickly. Okay, so we've got those set up. Um, so now it's, oh, missed him, Jim Bob. There you go. They got to there, that's where they were set up. Sort of in and around on the playthrough. Uh, they come through to here. And that says in uh, in the charge phase, not short charge the sector, so he doesn't, so he doesn't, he's gonna just move 12. So he's gonna come straight up to them. So he is seven. So that's the movement, done. No shooting. Charge trains, he doesn't have any. Nah, just make sure it doesn't have any magic. God, look at his stats. So we're gonna charge. So, uh, well, two dice and add the number together, so he's gonna charge. He gets a four, but we're playing this by the, uh, by here, uh, and he does say he charges, so I'll have David Moore Let's set these up, because I just wanna, how many sequitors, have I got too many sequitors here? <laughs> Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, no, that's confusing. So they were set up like that. It's going to charge in to this one, middle one here. Like that. So that's his charge done. So there he is, he's charged in. Uh, it's combat phase. So he's going to do some damage now. Uh, in the combat phase, one Secretor is slain and Night Shrouds is wounded. In the, in the Battle Shock phase, Secretors pass their Battle Shock test. Okay, let's see how many attacks he's got. Four. Oh, he's got two attacks as well. He's got Sword of Stolen Hours and the Ghostly Hooves and Teeth. So, four attacks, one inch. That's just in base contact. Three pluses. Okay. Three pluses to wound. Okay. Two saves. So I think the storm, then we re-roll ones. Uh, that's one hit. Yeah, one. Minus one wound on the old hero a ruining. 
but now they can come in, they can come back now and fight her themselves. So, there are two actually in base contact. Uh, they have a range of one inch, so that is out. And the ones at the back are out, so that's just two in combat now. So hopefully they can get revenge on the... Uh... Oh, I get two in. Three pluses, one hit. Saves on a four plus. Oh, hang on. I just suddenly realised it does two... Oh, we're going back. We're going back. Just noticed it does two damage. So that is actually dead. And now it's the hooves turn. I forgot about the hooves. Just even mention them. So it's two attacks, four pluses. Two wounds. A wound on five pluses. One wound. Reroll saves of one because of the storm smite shield. Soul shield. Still gets one, so it gets minus one. Okay, that was better. And nicely, that takes us into this. It's a battle shock phase. So player take from battle shock. So uh, roll the dice, add one to the wound. So I've lost one unit, which is their leader. Leader. Six plus one, seven. Out in the outside, and they have bravery of seven. Seven. Uh, for each point exceeds, one model must flee. Okay, so no models flee because we're bang on. Wow, hero phase turn two. That was quite the epic struggle. Um, let me remove this because, and this. No, I'm not actually. Rolled off at the start of the battle phase, so it's the rolled off. So we'll do this again. We're going to fake it to keep up with them for the first three turns. So Night Haunt 6, which is what it gets in the book. And Stormcast gets 3 here, but it's 4 in the book. So both players roll a dice. Stormcast player rolls 4, and the Night Haunt player rolls a 6. The Night Haunt player wins and decides to take the first turn. So it's turn two, Nighthorn. Nighthorn player has chosen to go first. In the hero phase, to get one command point. In the movement phase, Nighthorn player moves the chain rafts towards the sequitors. Uh, so they move six. So we've got these chaps here. So they're going to move six. They're going to come. They move six. They move six. So they're going to come through the wall here. So I shall get those moved. So we have moved them forward. We are inches away just because we're going to roll for movement. Make sure in charge phase. Yeah, we've charged in it's six inches. So charge in. How are they doing this? They're going yet. So in the combat phase now, we're going to pile in. So I pretty much get it set up as they've got it as much as possible. Okay, so we're going to set up as much as possible. So we've got four in uh, with them. One of them is the Dreg Warden. So uh, we'll do the combat first. So combat phase, Chain Rifts, the Knight Shrouds and the Secretors all fight. Yes, cause the old Knight of Shrouds is in. So I'm going to do the Knight of Shrouds first, I think. So four dice. Coming in, three pluses, three pluses to wound, two wounds. It's got a minus one rend, but does two damage. Ouch. Ouch, their save is five, so that's two damage. So that is, what's the range of this? Range is one. So luckily, I, ooh. So I'm gonna put this here. Ooh, I'm ooing because I think Where's my mark? I've lost my, I've lost the marker because I think this one is in range. We can see this here. That is in range. This one here is actually an inch in range. That will take the other point of damage because the other sector already had point of damage. But it's still got its blooming hooves. It's 
going to hoof it. Two attacks. Four, is that four pluses on the hooves? Five pluses to wound. Aww. Aww. Okay. Secretors. Uh, okay. So this one's going to attack. I think I can split these up. I'm still not too sure. So this one's in an inch range of him. It's got an inch range weapon. So that one will be wounding this. And these two will be attacking the rest of the horde. So I'm going to roll with this one first. So yeah. One in. Three plus. No. So he breaks it. Now we'll do these two back here. Because I rolled the black dice for the storm cast. So, okay, two in. Hopefully we can do some damage here. Uh, they have, oh, that was a six, weren't it? Because these are storm smites. They're both storm smites. So that was a six. So what does that mean? Storm, I keep calling it storm smite. Great mice. Yeah, it is a storm smite. Uh, Storm Smite, uh, Great Mace, oh it does, Great Mace Blast, each roll of hit becomes D3 hits, so yeah, that's one, four hits, they wound on four plus and they do two damage, wow, so they all hit, Ooh. all hits, that's four saves, on a five plus, so no saves, that's four hits and two damage. Wow. Damage, that's all four hit, yeah, two damage. Wow, okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, because they're in range, they're in range. Uh, it's all the ones that are in combat, in base combat, and including the Dreg Warden. Ouch, okay. Um, so that was the combat phase, and that's battle shock phase. Uh, so they took four damage. So it's four, eight. They have a bravery of six. We're going to lose an extra two. I'm going to take a run back here. Because that's if each that exceeds is eight. So six, six, seven, eight. Yep, okay, so they've exceeded that. Makes sense. Uh, Stormcast lost one in this round, so their bravery is seven, six, seven. So luckily they stand. They stand and fight. Okay, we're still on. We're on the hero phase of uh, turn two. The Stormcast now takes second turn in the hero phase, getting one command point. Large icon, cast arcane bolt. Okay, so it's. Two dice getting a five over a five. Ooh. Okay, so we don't cause that mortal wound. Um, but I think we're going to say we did because we're following it pretty much all the way through this one until the next turn. Oh, and I've just. You can have that on his base here. Okay. So, in the charge phase, Lord Arcana sexually charges the Night Shroud. Let's just see if I would have done anyway. Four, six. Well, I would have moved three inches away, and then I would have successfully charged, yeah. Because we've got to have the Battle of the Beasts here. Look at that. Look at those guys. Um, so that's it. That was the shooting, that was the charge phase, combat phase. In the combat phase, uh, we're going to pile in. Uh, I think what we're going to do is simplify this. We're going to leave the Yarkainum to the old Night Shrouds and we'll deal with all this little horde here. So that is what we are going to do. So that's a nice angle. So in the combat phase, two sectors and five chain. Okay, let's, so we're just gonna see what happens. Combat, we're gonna go slightly different. So we have two great mauls. So we'll do this one here first, because it's too simple, three pluses. Three pluses to wound, no. And now we'll do this one here of the great mauls. 
any or six. No, that's a shame. Just three pluses, two hits, two damage. One saves, two damage, and how many wounds have they got? Wounds one. That's all. Oh, to remove these from the uh, table now. Uh, so we take these two away to in Storm Smite thingy majiggies, put those there. So now they're gonna pile in, so he's gonna come in here, so that's two into the uh, storm casts. Range melee, so I can only they're just in base contact. Attacks two, four pluses. Four pluses to wound. One wound, re-rolling ones on the save, saves it. Okay, wow. Okay, uh, let me talk about Night, Night Arcanum. Uh, Night Arcanum, just talk about this combat phase, and the Night Shroud suffers one more moot wound. If I was use Inspiring Presence, we can use Inspiring Presence this turn, which I think I could have done last time for my Night, night Haunt. Could I? Didn't I have it? I don't think I could. Did I, you? I forget, but I can this turn. <laughs> That's all that matters. Night of Shrouds is going to go in for the Arcanum. Mm. Just off to the side. So that is four attacks, three pluses. Cool. Three pluses to wound. Cool. That's two wounds. Two saves on a three plus. Minus one rend. It'll be our four plus, so he saves him. Okay. Okay. Uh, hooves. One. Five pluses now. No. Okay, what can the Lord Arcanum do? He has four attacks, range two. He has razor beak and claws as well. So this is his Aether Staff. Once per turn, when a friendly model uh, is slain for the eight inch model, instead of moving the slain models, you can heal one wound allocated to it. I did not know that. We could have healed something. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, wow. Wow. One hit only. Three plus wound. It wounds. Saves on a four plus. Ooh. No, he takes a wound. He takes another wound. So he's down to uh, two wounds. But it's not over. Because we have Razor Beacon Claws. Attacks three. This is quite mental. Okay. Three plus. Oh. Oh. I just only realized my Aether Staff did D3 damage as well. Oh, it takes another hit. And I just realized it's D3 damage on the other one, so I've got a roll wound. Roll a dice, and we're going back. So it'd be two wounds. So he also gets another wound, so we've already taken that one. Uh, that's three plus. That doesn't do anything anyway. Okay. Battle shock. Uh, so yeah, they're going to use their inspiring presence to do it, and then we're now on to turn three. So it's to roll off again. Uh, th this time in the game, it was four a piece. So this time, blade players roll for a tie. Uh, as the night horn player had the first turn in the previous round, they choose who takes the first turn this round. Okay, interesting, because in uh, Middle Earth SBG, if it's a tie, it would go to the person who didn't have it last time, So, but it sticks with... Oh, that's cool, little advantage there, I like it. So I'm going to stick with that, so it's the uh, movement, uh, we're already in combat. Ready, shooting, no charging, combat phase. Uh, night player, in the combat phase, Night of Shrouds fights first, inflicting two wounds okay okay i think this one's i really enjoy playing these and learning this this way it's quite fun uh not too sure if people enjoy watching these but three pluses 
might enjoy making them so it doesn't do anything. Um, uh, and inflicting two wounds. So I'm going to say he did it. Inflicts two wounds just for the playthrough purposes. In the combat phase, not a shroud. First, oh, he's got his tooth and claws. So let's say he'd done that already. Uh, the only thing I won't be doing is like the Sectors and Nighthorn. I kind of prefer that. But the big guys, I want to see how that pans out. So they're going to fight first. So let's pile in. So we'll do him first because it's there. Two hits. It's the proper dice. Freeze. One in. Saves it. Okay. And now it's the Great Maces. Oh, that's two sixes. Uh, what does a six do? Great Mace. Every hit comes T3 hits. So we'll do those in a minute. So we'll just wound these. Uh, to wound on three. So that's one. Doesn't save it. So that's one dead. Uh, so now these sixes, each hit roll of the six becomes D3 hits, so it becomes, hang on, D3 hits. Oh, that was right, wasn't it? Because they were both six, so that's five hits. That's fair enough. D3, hang on, five, two, three hits. Three hits, D3, not D6. Okay, okay so that's two hits. Saves, one save, one doesn't, and they got two, so they're dead. Uh, no point in doing the battle shock because that's it over. Uh, Knight of Shroud's already gone, so it's on to the big guy. Might as well come down here and I feel this turn it's going to go go badly for the old Knight of Shrouds. A shame, a lovely model. Uh, oh, yeah, they're all in. Um, oh, yeah, no, it's not his. Uh, each the model successfully casts Arcane Bolt. No, cool. Uh, that's his ether, so it does D3 damage. So it's wounds. Here's three pluses. Ouch. So I guess if it's D3 damage, it saves. Let's see how many saves he gets. First, so they're definitely not four pluses, so that's two hits coming through with D3 damage. So the first one will do two, and that will do two, taking him one, two, three, four, taking him to minus seven wounds. The Knight of Shroud bites the dust. Okay, well, yeah, we didn't go past three rounds, that's the longest game waiting for, but. That's it. Okay. We've only got two of these playthroughs today because uh, I'm back up to scratch and up to date with everything. But this was the last of the playthroughs. Next week we are flying solo, so there's going to be so many mistakes made. Oh my goodness. But I'm looking forward to it. I think. And we're leaving Shaiish as well. We're going to Gyron, the realm of life. So that'll be lovely. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please do like, please leave a comment, please, 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 this is the big one. Let me know where I keep going wrong, because I can't remember. Um, it's difficult because if you played Age of Sigmar, this is actually a learning magazine and you don't know about mortal realms, such as anyone that's not in the UK, I guess. Uh, so it's teaching the rules piecemeal by piecemeal kind of thing, but I think we have most of it now. I think that's why it's taking the uh, training rules off, but yeah, until next time, guys. Take care.